One of the administrative assistants in Global Mantic's HR department modifies files all day long. She's constantly updating important information for their employees and all their different HR policies and plans. Well, unfortunately, it's been known to happen that an accident will happen and a typo gets introduced or data gets changed that shouldn't have been changed. And in the past, what they've had to do is try and find the source of the original data or a copy of the printed version of the document before it was changed and then go update the document to reflect what it should reflect, which was the pre-change state. That's a lot of work and frankly, a waste of time. So we are taking care of business for Global Mantics and we are going to enable file history on this user's PC so that we don't have to worry about that concern anymore. If they make a mistake in the future and accidentally change a file, we'll just use file history to restore it to the previous version. So let's take a look at getting file history enabled and working on this PC. Now, one of the easiest ways to enable file history and turn it on is to just plug in the flash drive that you want to use with the system. Click tap to choose what happens with removable drives and click configure this drive for backup file history. It will open up file history, allow me to select this drive and then click OK. Before I do that, let me mention that you can click add network location and point it to a drive on the network, say a file share, if that's where you want to store these files. But of course, a USB drive is faster and more accessible because it's connected directly to the computer. So even if the network's offline, it's available. And that's what we're going to use for this user. So let's cancel out of this network dialog, make sure that our E drive is selected. That's our USB flash drive. Click OK. It's going to tell me that file history was used on this computer before. Wow, I didn't know that, but this is great for you to see. If file history was turned on and then turned off for some reason, a record of those files that are in the cache and stored on the PC will be offered to move to the new location for file history. What I'm really getting at is that you can turn file history on and off and back on and still have access to versions that were created way back when, when file history was running before you shut it off. So we'll go ahead and say, yes, let those move on over. Well, this is another good scenario to run into. It can't copy files. Can you guess what that means? That means that while on this computer, there was a cache telling it that, hey, File history was once enabled and we have some versions of files. Unfortunately, the cache isn't the entire file history drive. And when it tried to go out on that original file history drive, it couldn't find it. It's probably a USB stick that isn't plugged in anymore. So it can't move the files. Well, c'est la vie, I guess. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We'll just go ahead and click close. Now we will go ahead and click select another drive pick our E drive again, click OK. This time when we're asked to move the files, let's just say no. That will cause it to reinitialize everything and we're good to go. No problem, right? OK, you can see that it shows us when the files were last copied and we can click run now to run an event anytime we want. By default, file history copies versions of our files once an hour. 